Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we will discuss about the conversion of units. See, uh, to convert a unit from one unit to another unit, what we have to do is, we have to follow two steps. That is, first we have to convert the given unit into SI unit. After that, the SI unit should be converted into the desired unit. That means to which unit we have to convert it. To that unit we have to convert it. See here uh, in this session let us see the conversion of, of length, mass, time and area. See uh, we know the SI unit of length, meter. So to convert uh, the length, First, we have to convert the given unit into meters. Meter is the SI unit of length. In the same way for mass, kilogram is the SI unit of mass. So, whatever the unit is given, that unit should be converted into kilograms. And coming to time, we have to convert the given unit into seconds. Second is the unit, SI unit of time. In the same way for area, meter square is the SI unit. So first we have to convert the given unit into meter square and after that we have to convert the, uh, the meter square into desired unit. Whatever the unit we have to convert to so that unit we can convert easily. So this is the process. So let us see some examples regarding this conversion of units. Conversion of length we have uh, like this. Convert 20 centimeter into kilometer. As we have discussed previously. The centimeters should be converted into meters first. We have to convert the 20 centimeter into meter. So the 20 centimeter can be written as 20 into centi. Centi value is 10 to the power of minus 2. So 10 to the power of minus 2 meter. Yes, we have converted the centimeter into meter. Now the centimeter, sorry, the meter should be converted into kilometer. So to convert into kilometer, we have to write it as 20 into 10 to the power of minus 2 into, see here we have to know the kilo value. Kilo value is 10 cube. So now what we have to do is, we have to write like this, 10 to the power of minus 3 into 10 cube meter. Can we write like this? See here the bases are equal. Powers, if you add the powers, 3 minus 3, 0. 10 to the power of 0, 1. So, into 1. We are multiplying this value into 1. So, we will get the same value. So, we can write like this now. So, now this can be written as, again, 20 into 10 to the power of minus 2 into 10 to the power of minus 3. 10 cube means kilo and meter, kilometer. So, this is the conversion and you can again simplify this. See, 20 into, here bases are equal, power should be added. So, minus 2, minus 3, minus 5. So, conversion, convert 20 centimeter into micrometer. The same process, first we have to convert this centimeter into meter. So, this can be written as 20 centimeter equal to 20 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meter. Now, we have to convert this uh, meter into micrometer. See, 20 into 10 to the power of minus 2 into, see, the, we, have, we know the micro value. Micro value is 10 to the power of minus 6. So, here uh, we will write like this. 10 to the power of 6 into 10 to the power of minus 6 meter. Again, you see, basis or equal power should be added. If we add 6 minus 6, we will get 0. 10 to the power of 0 value is 1. So, value won't change. So, we can write like this. And now, this can be written as 20 into, here, basis or equal power should be added. 6 minus 2, 4. So, 10 to the power of 4, 10 power minus 6 is micro, no? Micrometer. So, this can be written as 20 into 10 to the power of 4, micrometer. Or if you want to uh, simplify further, you can write this as uh, 2 into 10 to the power of 5 micrometer, we can write it. Okay, so this is the conversion of length. 
So whatever the unit is given, that unit should be converted into SI unit first. And later that SI unit should be converted into the desired unit. To which unit you have to convert, to that unit we have to convert. And now coming to the mass. Convert 5 microgram into 10. So here also same process. First here we have to convert this into grams. Then we have to convert it into kilograms. And that kilogram will be converted into 10. So now let us see that. First 5 microgram is given here. We know micro value 10 to the power of minus 6 gram. First we have converted this into gram. Now we have to convert it into a kilogram no. So 5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 into kilo value. Kilo value is 10 cube. So I am writing here as 10 power minus 3 into 10 power 3 gram. Okay. So this will be written as 5 into 10 to the power of. See we have to add these two now. 10 power minus 6, 10 power minus 3, 10 power minus 9 into 10. So uh, instead of writing this 10 cube, we can write it as kilogram. See the microgram has been converted into kilogram. That is 5 into 10 to the power of minus 9 kilogram. Now this kilogram should be converted into 10. That means 5 into 10 to the power of minus 9 into, see 1 ton equal to. 1 ton equal to 1000 kg. Okay. So this 1000 kg can be written as 10 cube kg. No? So actually this is kilogram now. 5 into 10 to the power of minus 10 kilogram. So 10 cube kg. That means we have to write it as 10 power minus 3 into 10 cube kg. Okay. So, this can be written as 5 into, now add this to, minus 9, minus 3. So, we will get 10 to the power of minus 12. And this 10 cube case is nothing but 10. So, 5 into 10 to the power of minus 12, 10. That means, 5 microgram is equal to 10 to the power of minus 12, 10. Okay. And now, 10 quintal. Now, next one, 10 quintal into nanogram. See, 10 quintal means 1 quintal equal to 100 kg. 10 quintal means 100 into 10, 1000 kg. So, this 10 quintal is nothing but 1000 kg. Now, this 1000 kg should be converted into uh, gram first. Next, this I have to convert it into kilogram. See, 1000 can be written as 10 cube, no? 10 cube and kilo means another 10 cube. So, 10 cube into 10 cube gram. Now, we have converted into gram. Now, this should be converted into nanogram. Nano value. Nano means 10 to the power of minus 9. So, to get nano, what we will do here? 10 cube into 10 cube into 10 to the power of 9 into 10 to the power of minus 9 gram we have to write. So, if you add all this, uh, 9 plus 3, 12, 12 plus 3, 15. So, 10 to the power of 15 nanogram. That means 10 quintal equal to 10 to the power of 15 nano. And now, coming to this uh, time. See, time also same. First we have to convert the time into seconds and then the seconds can be converted into desired unit. So, 40 minutes now. 40 minutes means how many seconds? 40 into 60 seconds. 40 minutes equal to 40 into 60 seconds. That means 2, uh, 24, no? 2400. 2400 seconds. And these seconds have to be converted into microsecond. Or this 2400, this can be written as 24 into 10 square seconds we can write. So 24 into 10 square into micro value is 10 to the power of minus 6. So we can write it as 10 to the power of 6 into 10 to the power of minus 6 second. So 24 into, so we have to add this, 6 plus 2, 8. 
so 10 to the power of 8 micro 10 to the power of minus 6 means micro microsecond 24 into 10 to the power of 8 microseconds so now in the same way 1 second into 1 day see 1 second equal to 1 by 60 minute and this should be converted into hours that means 1 by 60 into 60 hour and day day means 1 by 60 into 60 into 24 day that means we will get a 1 by 86,400 day 86,400 day so 1 second is converted into day that means per day we are having 86,400 seconds so uh, seconds to smaller to large we are converting seconds to day so that's a 1 by 86,400 and next coming to this area area SI unit is meter square meter square so the given one should be converted into meter square here I convert 20 centimeter square into meter square see 20 centi means 10 to the power of minus 2 meter whole square so this will be like this 20 into 10 to the power of 2 2 is 4 now so 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square yes we have converted into meter square so 20 centimeter square equal to 20 into 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square and final this one convert 15 millimeter square into centimeter square to convert millimeter square into centimeter square yes first 15 mm square this can be written like this 15 into m milli milli value is 10 to the power of minus 3 meter whole square so we will get 15 into 10 to the power of 3 to 6 so minus 6 meter square we have converted into meter square now this meter square should be converted into centimeter square 15 into 10 to the power of minus 6 meter square so this can be written as 15 into 10 to the power of minus 6 and 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter that means 1 meter equal to 10 square centimeter so this can be written as 10 square centimeter whole square meter square no yes so this can be written as 15 into 10 to the power of minus 6 into 10 square 2 into 2 4 10 power 4 centimeter square so this can be written as 15 into 10 to the power of minus 6 plus 4 so we will get minus 2 centimeter square 15 into 10 to the power of minus 2 centimeter square that means 15 millimeter square equal to 15 into 10 to the power of minus 2 centimeter square so uh, these are the conversions of unit basing on length mass time and area so two steps what we have to follow is we have to convert the given unit into SI unit first and the SI unit should be converted into the desired unit.